I recently had someone ask whether Pinegrow supports SAS. Although it says right on their website that it does, I thought I'd go one step farther and do a quick video demonstration. In this demo, I'll show you how we activate our SAS style sheet and how we can use a simple SAS variable to change the color of a heading. I'm Adam Lowe, president of Peak Performance Digital. If you find content like this helpful, I'd love it if you can give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. Here we are inside Pinegrow. I'm gonna start with a new blank HTML project so you can see everything from start to finish. I'll save this index.html file to a new directory and I'll tell Pinegrow to open that directory up as a project. On the project tab, you can see that we have our index.html file and a directory called CSS with a style.css file inside of it. I'll open that style.css file so you can see that it's currently blank. Switching to the tree panel, you can see that the body of our index.html is empty and that the header just has the basic stuff you need. It does, however, have a link to the style.css file that was automatically created when we started the project. I'll open the HTML file in the code editor so you can see everything in that view as well. The only thing I'm going to do on this page is to drop an H1 heading in here so we have something to target. Now here's where the SAS magic happens. Over in our style panel, this is where we would typically go to do anything related to SAS, like managing our style sheets, adding classes, modifying attributes, etc. I'll click on this style sheet dropdown to see what's linked to the page. Then I'll click the dropdown next to the style.css we looked at before. All we have to do to use SAS in our project is select the convert to SCSS option. Now when we switch back to the project panel, you'll see a style.scss right next to the style.css file. Our index.html file still links to style.css though, since this is what our SAS file is compiled into. Next, we'll add a tiny bit of SAS magic and let Pinegrow SAS compiler do its thing. I'll open the style.scss file in the code editor, and I'll start by adding a SAS variable called heading color, and I'll tell it that the value is red. Then I'll create a rule for our H1 element to set the text color to that variable. As you can see, something's already happened because our heading is now red. Let's change that variable to blue and see what happens. As expected, the text turns blue. Okay, I know you're thinking to yourself, can I just do this with CSS variables? And you're right, you can. But this is supposed to be a simple demo and I don't wanna trip you up with complexities of SAS. I'd rather show you what's happening and why it's happening so you can understand the concepts without getting buried in the details. So let's take a peek, shall we? I'll leave our code window up with a tab on our style.css file, which remember is our SAS source file. Then I'll open another tab with a style.css file, which is what's created by the Pinegrow SAS compiler. As you can see, the style.css file simply has the rule in a basic compiled form. I'll change our variable in the SCSS file back to red. And you can see when we look in our style.css file that it's also changed the color to red. Simple. Behind the scenes, Pinegrow is using Dart SAS, which is a primary reference implementation of SAS. It's fast, it's current, and it's well supported. I want to thank Kevin Powell for one of his videos that I used as inspiration for this demo. If you don't know who Kevin is, please crawl out from under that rock you've been hiding under and subscribe to his YouTube channel. He's one of the best no BS instructors out there, and I learn something new from him every time I watch his videos. Kevin also has a new training coming out at beyondcss.dev. If it's anything like his YouTube content, it'll be worth every penny of what he plans to charge. I don't have affiliate links or anything like that. I just know Kevin delivers the good stuff and I have nothing but faith in him. As always, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe or leave a comment down below and I'll see you next time.